Hello everybody, Shift here again with another Paper Planet run. Today we're gonna be playing with a Prairie Planet, that means more life equals more damage and uh, more strength I guess. And uh, yeah, let's get into it and see how we go. This is the seed and also still waiting for my editor to come over here one day. So we shoot like 50 co-op runs or something and then we have them all prepared and ready. So yeah, let's actually play the game. Prairie Planet starts with a lot of life and also a bit of missing life so that we heal it up and we gain our damage up. So that's the idea here. Let's hope we're gonna get a good run going. Hopefully, I think there is a max cap at about 10 max life or something where you stop gaining stats out of the pre planet. And when we get to that point, we're gonna start using some other things. Let's see what we find. First of all, we found a shotgun. Bullets are fired in bursts of three. I would like to get a shotgun early. This is a good thing that combos with a million other things. Bullets will gain damage multiplier based on the current velocity. Mm, that's also decent, but I'm gonna say let's go with shotgun right away. These are just active items. I never get active items early. Oh, oh, when it says burst of three, it actually just means that it is uh, true. This, it, when I shoot once, it shoots twice. So it doesn't even feel like we lost attack speed. <laughs> if anything, it feels like we got attack speed, which is so weird, by the way, that we got that going. Now, does that mean if I get enough attack speed that it's going to start overlapping those shots? Because if that's what it means, then awesome. When your bullets reach the edge of the visible area, they will teleport to the opposite and loop around. I really love this. This is one of the more broken things. Or you get more money. More money means you will be able to buy from the shop all the time, every time. This is spinning bullets and this is a damage up. I would like to do spinning bullets at some point. For now, we're going to go with more money. Um, yes, looping bullets is really good. Don't get me wrong. But the money is going to pay off for itself um, earlier than later. Because from the next shop, like literally, the, we already will get enough money to buy both items on the shop. Now, normally you have about 200 paper clips when you get to the first shop. Let's see how many we're going to have. So we're going to understand the difference. Theoretically, based on the math, we should get about 260. So if we have 260, we will be guaranteed able to buy everything from the shop as uh, the items cost about 100. And we don't even have remote close. How did that happen? What? Really, how, how did we only get 151? What happened? Something went wrong. Uh, we're going to go with bullets velocity. Bullet speed. I mean, these two. I would have bought these two if I could have. I'm going to go with when bullets velocity gain damage bullets. And I also definitely need some healing. We have 43. I guess we're forced into the single heal for 30. And that gave us attack speed and damage, of course. So that's nice. Uh, of course, the shop, the, the money gain is double important. Because not only, obviously, will it allow us to buy things from the shop, which we somehow failed at doing, but um, it also is going to allow us to heal more often. And that is really important with this one. So that also really fits the whole idea of getting money so we can heal in the shop. Now, if I find a healing buddy or some kind of healing drone or something, we'll obviously use it. And let's fight the first boss. Now, theoretically here, if we destroy this before it shoots the laser, as we always say, then we have high damage. Otherwise, we are on the normal path, I would say. And I do think we do have enough damage here. It seems like we are doing a lot. Yeah, I think it's not even going to take a single shot of laser before it dies. No, it's going to shoot at least once. Yep, and it's toast. Very nice. So we are pretty high up on damage. And I even had to block. Otherwise, it wouldn't even take a single shot. Oh, we found the curse. Bullets have a first aura around them. That's obviously busted. Turns your bullets into lightning bolts that move back and forth as they travel. Each time they change direction, they have a 3% chance to create a small world. You know what? Oh, healing. Gain an orbiting button that heals you for 1 HP every 8 waves and attacks nearby enemies with claw attacks. Mm, I have done the curse 3 or 4 times back to back. Lightning bottle, zappy bullets. I do enjoy this. I want, I'm between healing. You know what? Let's go healing. Fits the build. And I never had the clawing thing. Fits the build. Fits the build. I'm going to go with whatever fits the build. Nice. Take some shots. The guys that always try to break your combo here. We are very high on damage. That's really good. And I really enjoy it. And we'll also go even higher on damage in a moment. Now, I do need to find some kind of passive that will give us max life. So, that's nice. And we found grants a great... What? Grants a greatly increased chance to curse items to spawn. Okay. Your bullets will accelerate towards enemies in a small radius and gain a little drag. I do enjoy this. Your bullets will move... Your bullets will move in burst instead of continuously or create a region. Let's go with magnet bullets. Let's go with magnet bullets. I do want to go do a cursed run in general. Oh, my bullets are very different now. They look like magnets. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. 
So theoretically, they should add to me. Oh, they. Oh, nice, nice, nice. When they go off screen, they actually come back to try to hit something. That's actually really good. Well, now I'm super excited about magnets. Magnetic bullets are nice. Let's try to hit everything and not lose the combo. If I lose the combo, we're going to lose a lot of money. Let's go. Let's not forget we have blinking. Now I just need piercing. Uh, tracking bullets always are good with piercing. You definitely want piercing if you have tracking shots. Because otherwise, you just lose out on... You lose out on DPS. I mean, normally tr piercing isn't as good without anything else. And the reason is, of course, because it's going to just pierce an opponent and then go off screen and just disappear. But if you have magnetism, obviously it's good. Okay, now we should have money for two items. Well, I have for exactly two items. This feels very weak, man. This here, origami, clover, really, really weak. Enemies drop 33. It should be 50%, okay. Four damage flat, movement speed, who cares? Movement speed and fire rate, I enjoy that. Okay, we're going to go damage and fire rate. I don't have enough. 400. Wow. Wow. I guess I can get the fancy pants for movement speed. Let's definitely get the damage. Because it's also multiplicative with everything. I don't want the movement speed, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this 200 coins we have. And now I should be able to buy everything from here on out. I mean, come on. The shops being cheaper is by far the best item that has to do with shopping. You getting more money is so bad. And mediocre. And also the game seems to not have an exact amount of money you're going to be gaining because it has to do with how many and what opponents appear. So that's also very luck dependent if you're going to be a rich build or not. Unless you are obviously the rich planet. But otherwise you are really in the whims of whatever happens, happens. I really want piercing at this point. Oh, we're doing so much damage. We're doing a lot of damage, man. We're doing a lot of damage. Oof, oof. Look at this. Look at this. Boss is dying. Boss is melting, man. Avoid the other side, and boss is toast. Very nice. I want more max health. That's really important to get. Nice, we got a level. VIP shops have more things. Bullets come back, that's useless. Bullets gain speed. I got the bullets do more damage based on velocity, so bullets gain speed should be the play. Shops have extra choices. You know what, let's go with bullets go speed. Bullets go speed. Want to see this in action. Ooh, the fastest bullets in the town. And most likely, magnetism is gonna stop functioning. But that's okay. That's really okay. We're supposed to be doing damage based on velocity anyway, so... Bye bye you, bye bye you. Hit here, don't lose the combo. Jump over to our side, should have maybe gotten hit. Your bullets will stop and charge themselves, not really. Your bullets will collide with red bullets, godlike. Fire and bullet speed or damage and less movement speed. I mean, this is good and this is good. We're gonna go with godlike easy mode. We're gonna go with godlike easy mode. So my bullets now block red shots. <laughs> my little ally is helping with daggering opponents down. Very nice. Uh, this is not a red shot. Bye bye you. That's flame. Yeah, bye bye you guys. Nice, nice, nice. Maintain the combo to continue gaining money. Really important as always. Please give me bounces, man. Although at this point, the magnet is just going too fast for bounces to even be a thing. Bye bye. Blink to our side. I should also remember blink to our side pretty often if I can do so. If I can do so, the remembering part. Bye bye you guys. Jump over. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Destroy the ships. Destroy what we can. Jump over. Nice. Maintain combo. Nope. Almost lost it. And shopping time. Okay, now I do have enough money. So gain 20 speed. Gain a fading damage multiplier that increased every time your bullets hit an enemy. That's nice. And this is you take less damage. 40% chance to not get hit actually. Which is also really good for us specifically. Do I have money for a shielding, please? Yes, I do. Let's buy the shield. And let's go. Now I have a shield to protect us. So every time one of my bullets hits an enemy, we get more damage. That is what literally was said that we got. Yep, the damage is shown at the top left. As you can see, we have like a permanent 40 damage boost. Although we previously were doing about 20. So that's really nice and really good. DPS-wise. Now we definitely need AoE. That's right now our one missing issue here. And piercing, like I said five times again. But still, AoE, I guess split shots and multi shots and all that should jazz. Okay, opponent's slowly losing life. Now, the opponents do have a shield because of the challenge increase I did. So, theoretically, he should. Whoop, jump to our side. He should start losing more life now. Is what I wanted to previously say. Da -da 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 -da. And the opponent is losing more life. Yes, look at this permanent 40 damage we have going on. And we won. Very nice. 
Yeah, and now it's gonna go down to 20. Yeah, exactly. So we have a 40, 41 damage, otherwise 20. Oh, here we go. Split shots. Nope, that's charge time shots. No, 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 no. Charge time shots. No, this is damage. And this is getting a body that moves around the surface blocking shots. That's useless because we have my bullets block shots. So I guess we go with damage. This is shoots a stationary geyser, which shoots bullets directly up. Based on your fi at your fire rate, and this is um, your bullets go where your charge bullet goes. Now we're gonna go here. This is a three second charge time, so this is always. Gotta go here. Let's go with even more damage. And we have four more zones, three more zones. So that means that thing is gonna give us nine damage pretty much. Red bullets are not a thing. Yellow bullets is the only thing I care about. Are the only thing I care about. Red bullets literally are not a thing. And this is so cool, man. This Blocking red shots with your shots is the most powerful thing in this game. And um, Other than... Uh, no, no, no. There is another more powerful defensive stuff, which is... Oh, we don't have piercing. This is really an issue. Look at this. The most defensive stuff in the game, in my opinion, completely most busted, is like a pedal. I haven't gotten it, I think, in any video. If I get it, it's most likely going to be the thumbnail and everything else. There is a pedal that makes it so that your defense blocks red shots and yellow shots. So you pretty much are death immune as long as you defend. And here we go with a whole bunch of small opponents again. We definitely need some AoE. We definitely need some AoE. Piercing would be the best. Piercing would be by far the best. You buy by everything. Let's see what we get. A thousand coins. Okay, what is this? Bullets are surrounded by a bubble that pops after a time and shoot the bullet at the closest enemy. This is this is pure, This is AoE. This here is AoE. So bullets are surrounded by a bubble that pops after a time and shoots the bullet at the closest enemy. And shoots the bullet at the closest enemy. Is this AoE actually? I'm not sure. Body that gives body fire rate and damage. Shield size that's useless. Less max health but more fire rate. This is also bad for us. We're gonna lose stats by taking that. I guess I can only get this. And uh, I guess I can only get the buddy then. I guess let's go with the buddy. This also blocks yellow shots, by the way. So we're going to definitely get that. Okay. So... I do not really see the difference, to be honest. I guess it has better targeting would be the, the main thing. Right? The bubble... Yeah, the bubble means that... Yeah, it has better targeting. That's it. Literally, this is just better targeting. So that's nice because it is partially what I requested, which is AoE, coverage. Yeah, look at this. Do you see why, why they go to the left and then they shoot towards the right? That's the better targeting. We are a bit... A bit. We are a bit weak on... Yeah, look at this. You see? Just bounces over to the opponent. I cannot miss. That's what we just got. The fact that I cannot miss. Which is nice. It's nice to not be able to miss at all. Bye-bye. Hit him. It, um, now the idea here is hopefully the boss is not gonna do the pattern where it just sits there and is damage immune. That's what we would like to see. Do I do more damage if I actually miss on purpose? I don't think we do more damage, never. And this is the pattern. So theoretically, the cone should always generate an area where I'm safe. As long as I'm like looping around with the cone. Yeah, well, regardless cone or not, doesn't matter. Boss is toast. Nice. So these bubbles are not really something awesome, I would say. Unless they are good with something else that I'm not aware of right now because I don't have it. Whenever a yellow bullet gets close to the turret, gain damage. Not really. Throws your bullets into lightning bolts that move back and forth as they travel. Each time they change direction, they have a third chance to get another bullet. That's godlike, what I might want. Bullets are longer, no. Bullets reach the edge, make you refire. No, 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 we're gonna go with chain lightning. So now my bullets are chain bubbles. Chain bubble lightning. Yes. Yes, now, now we do have coverage. And they also have magnetism, so they're not really missing. Now we do have coverage. Did I just get hit? No, I think that just the, the curse just disappeared. It really felt like the game lagged because I got hit, but no. It's just the curse disappeared. Yes, now we actually have a build. Yes. Bubble lightning bullets. Da -da 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 -da. Bubble lightning bullets. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. That. Oh, avoid. Oh, avoid. Oh, Black is with us. And I healed, by the way. I just saw the plant heal up. I really enjoy... Actually, I do really love the bubbles now that I'm seeing it. Because I can shoot into whatever direction I want. Like, I'm shooting this side, for example. And the bubbles, alongside the electricity, just make the, bu the, the bullets just go to the other side on their own. I love it. Like, I shoot towards this. Towards top. Let's say I shoot towards the bottom right. And it's like... Da -da 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 -da, they just go over to the other side. So, we got... You turn your shield into a thin line. Uh, I don't need shielding. So, that's useless. 
Whenever you switch movement direction, gain fire rate. That's nice. Gain a body that spawns bullets. That's nice. And when a zone completes, lose 35 of your current health. Round it down for each health point lost. Gain 3 damage and fire rate. I'm going to get this, assuming that I'm going to be able to heal back up before the wave ends. So we're going to get these two, I would say. If not this one, alongside the rest. So I should not have enough money for all of those. Because these two together is a thousand something. And this is more than 300 and 3d3. So we're not going to be able to. But I'm going to buy both of these. Damage and attack speed, and we're gonna heal between rounds, and also more buddies. I'm healing with a buddy that heals, alongside the fact that shops have healing. That's what I, how I'm thinking about this. So we will gain the plus damage and plus attack speed, and then we're gonna regain our lost stats, because we will lose damage and attack speed if I lose max life. If I lose life, not max life. If I lose life. And you're gonna see it in a moment. We're gonna see how this is gonna go. We're gonna become pretty busted. 68 damage, by the way. Let's not forget we do double damage if we hit somebody. Hey, boss. How's it going? Yeah, I'm not gonna even tar target you. That's what I mean, you know? I'm literally not even targeting them. And we still always hit them. Nice. Boss out have health. And then you're hitting them. Slash. Go to their side. Go to their side. Go to their side. Avoid everything. And boss should be dead. Not the most busted one we ever had, but a pretty sizable DPS boost. And based on how many bullets are on the screen, we get more stats. That's godlike. Bullets rotate, no. Frog bullets, no. Fire rate and speed and max health, definitely. Now we're going to go with this. Get a bunch of stats based on how many bullets are on the screen. We can have a bunch of bullets on the screen, obviously. And we just lost stats. Do you see how we lost attack speed and we lost damage? We're going to slowly get those back, though. Because of the... And my planet is very small, as you see. We, we shrunk. If you go back literally 10 seconds, 20 seconds, because you're watching YouTube, you can go back. We're going to see that the plan shrunk. But it's going to slowly become bigger and big. I got hit. We lost. Oh, I lost the 40%. Ah, that happened previously too. So what happened, by the way, is... Do you remember like about five minutes ago where I was like, I got hit, I think? We had the raw adamantine. Because I looked over at the top left and a shield appeared. And it just happened again. So raw adamantine, almost unkillable, 40% chance to get damage. That happened twice now. I've blocked twice attacks with adamantine. So that's cool. That was a tight avoiding right there. Lucky, of course. Okay, I healed. Nice. So my plan had just become a bit bigger because of this healing body. A body. And what is this? Faulty Dreamcatcher. Embrace darkness. Gain 0 0.5 damage, 1% fire rate, 1% speed, and 1% bullet speed for each wave of curse you survive. Comes with an extra long curse. No, it's not an extra long curse. It's just a 9. For each wave, curse you survive. Damage, fire rate, speed, and bullet speed. I would have liked this so much as my first item. Does anybody have a seed where this is the first item? I want this as my first item, man. Uh, we're gonna go damage, for sure. And uh, also, we're gonna heal with the cheap heal. I don't want this. Because, look at this. We got like 9 damage from the healing alone. I don't want this because... If I get hit twice, we lose. And although this is decent, we're gonna, in six waves, we win right away. So this is literally four, six, four, let's say in six waves we end, okay? I think it's at 15, but let's say it's at, at let's say it's at 20. So let's say eight waves. That's 8% attack speed, 8% movement speed, 8 movement speed, 8% bullet speed, and about four damage. I would say the damage good, but I think it's in three waves. So that's like 1.5 damage plus the fire rate and whatnot. I don't think this is worth it. It's gonna make us lose for, for no reason against the final boss. And let's also see when the game actually ends. So right now we're at wave 13. Let's see if it actually ends at wave 15 or if I was wrong. I'm pretty sure it ends at 15. <clears throat> As if I haven't played the game before. Yep, at 15. So that would have been 1.5 damage, 3% attack speed, 3% movement speed. I think it's better the way we played this. I think I want to do a run with Dreamcatcher as my literally first item. And I want to do a run with the monkey's paw as the second item, I guess. Or, or the opposite order. No, no, no. Definitely Dreamcatcher first and then monkey's paw second. So monkey's paw, in case you don't know, is that curse, uh, more cursed items appear. Sorry that I'm shooting into the wall. Oh, laser slash. Yep, avoided. This is going to be an actual boss fight. By the way, the longer this lasts, the worse for us. Because if I get hit, we lose life. I'm, I'm gonna try to not get hit here. This is my worst pattern. Let's go to the other side. I really love the music boost. And we're just going faster and faster. Laser slash. Nope, that's red shots. Easy block. He almost got hit for no reason. Because I, shot, I thought my shots were gonna protect me. Okay, this is supposed to be the easy pattern. Supposedly. 
I just need to look like half a second in front of us. Also, in case I um, miss some shots and hit my planet with my shots, it's because I'm trying to mainly avoid. Whoop, none of those is going to hit us. Let's hit the boss. This is the first little fight that lasts as long. Which I, I, I'm, okay, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. I have almost never seen the second half of this boss fight. Uh, by the way, one of the issues of this planet is that if you lose life, you pretty much have no way of... Actually, not no way. If you lose life, which will happen if the fights are hard, right? Um, well, guess what? The fights are going to become harder because now you also do less damage. Am I missing where I'm supposed to be attacking? Is the Are my tracking shots and magnetized shots not hitting opponents? You know what the main issue is? I now realized I got hit. It's okay. We didn't lose life yet. Uh, the main issue is we don't have piercing, man. We don't have piercing. Without piercing, we're not going to be able to do this. Because without having piercing, when my shots hit a part that is already fully damaged, I straight up uh, don't do damage. As simple as that. And honestly, I think this should be one thing that this fight maybe needs fixing. The one thing that this fight maybe needs to fix is that it should make it so that you do partial damage when you hit parts that are not destroyed. Like very, very small. Let's, let's say like 5% damage. But you definitely need partial damage. Okay, where's the final shot that I haven't broken yet? I don't know where the final shot that I haven't broken yet is. I'm just trying to uh, survive here. I got hit. Nope, nope, we got the shield. Let's go. Over the other side. Where is the part, man? I don't know where the final part is. I think I just broke it. That's why I don't know. Laser beam, yes. I literally blocked, by the way. I literally blocked. And I don't attack... 65 damage. We should have 120 damage, man, when we hit opponents. Yep, instantly cannonball back. Boom, because we have block. Oh, I guess we have to deflect here. And now we go. L look at this guy setting up the things on the ground. Let's see. I have never seen this fight actually uh, happen. Okay, shoots rockets. Shoots yellow shots. Pretty simple stuff. Flame shots, nice. Flame is on the ground, almost avoided, and we won. And we won. Very easy. The second, far, the second part is always very easy. That's why we melted so fast. Nice. We won. And I healed at the end. <laughs> My buddy healed us. Nice. What an awesome run. A bit of a longer video today. We got the electric, electric bubble bullets. Although, is this going to be the electric bubble builds? Most likely. Electric bubble bullets. Love it. Love it. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, we're gonna continue playing this daily because this is a really quick run that I can just go through in my leisure time. I really enjoy this game. It's very simple and clean. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys. Oh, by the way, we have merchandise. And see you guys around.